ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय लेट्स कंटिन्यू आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत मध्य लीला चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी टू वर्ष नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड वन वी विल कंटिन्यू आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम मुकम करोति वाचालम पंगुम लंघयते गिरिम यत कृपा तम वंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारिणम परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वरम हरि ओम तत्सत श्लोक वन ओ वन तवास्मृति वदन वाचा तथैव मनसा विदन तत्स्थान आश्रितस्तन्वा मोदते शरणागत वन हूज बॉडी इज फुली सरेंडर टेक शेल्टर एट द होली प्लेस वेयर कृष्ण हैड हिज पास टाइम्स एंड ही प्रेस टू द लॉर्ड माय लॉर्ड आई एम योर्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस विद इज माइंड ही एन्जॉय स्पिरिचुअल ब्लिस पर्पड बाय हिज वाइन ग्रेस शिला प्रभुपा शिला प्रभुपात की जय द लास्ट टू वर्सेस अपीयर इन द हरि भक्ति विलास इलेवन पॉइंट फोर वन सेवन टू एटीन श्लोक नंबर वन ओ टू शरण लेना करे कृष्ण आत्मसमर्पण कृष्ण तारे करे तत्काले आत्मसमा वेन डिवोटी दस फुली सरेंडर इन अन टू कृष्ण लोटस फीट Krishna accepts him as one of his confidential associates. Shloka hundred and three, Mrityo yada tyakta samastha karma nivedita vichi kirshito me tadat mrityatvam prati padya manyo manano prati padya mano. मयात्मा भूयया च कल्पते वय द लिविंग एंटिटी हु इज सब्जेक्टेड टू बर्थ एंड डेथ अटेन्स इमोटैलिटी व्हेन ही गिव्स अप ऑल मटेरियल एक्टिविटीज डेडिकेट्स हिज लाइफ टू द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ माय ऑर्डर एंड एक्ट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू माय डायरेक्शंस इन दिस वे ही बिकम्स फिट टू एन्जॉय द स्पिरिचुअल ब्लिस डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम एक्सचेंजिंग लविंग मेलोस विद मी पर्पर दिस इज अ कोटेशन फ्रॉम श्रीमद् भागवतम 11.29.34 कृष्ण वाज एडवाइजिंग हिज मोस्ट confidential servant uddhava about sambandha abhidhe and prayojan these concern one's relationship with the supreme personality of godhead and the activities of that relationship as well as the perfection of life the lord also describes the describe the characteristics of confidential devotees verse 104 ebe sadhana bhakti lakshan suna sanatan yah Bhayate pai Krishna prema maha dhana. My dear Sanatan, please now hear about the regulated principles for the execution of devotional service. By this process, one can attain the highest perfection of love of God, which is the most desirable treasure. Verse hundred and five. Kriti sadhya bhavet sadhya bhava sa sadhana vida nitya siddhasya bhavasya prakatyam riddhi. Sadhya. When transcendental devotional service by which love for Krishna is attained is executed by the senses, it is called sadhana bhakti or the regulative discharge of devotional service. Such sad devotion eternally exists within the heart of every living entity. The awakening of this eternal devotion is the potentiality of devotional service in the in practice. Purport. This verse is found in Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu 1.2.2 because living entities are minute atomic parts and parcels of the Lord. Devotional service is already present within them in a dormant condition. Devotional service begins with the shravanam, kirtanam, hearing and chanting. When a man is sleeping, he can be awakened by a sound vibration. Therefore, every conditioned soul should be given the chance to hear the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra chanted by a pure Vaishnava. One who hears the Hare Krishna Mantra thus vibrated is awakened to spiritual consciousness or Krishna consciousness. In this way, one's mind gradually becomes purified as stated by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitu Darpana Marjanam. When the mind is purified, the senses are also purified. Instead of using the senses for sense gratification, the awakened devotee employs the senses in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. This is the process by which dormant love for Krishna is awakened. Verse one hundred and six. Shavanadi Kriya Tar Swarupa Lakshana Tatastha Tatastha Lakshane Upajaya. Premadhana, the spiritual activities of hearing, chanting, remembering, and so forth, are the natural characteristics of devotional service. The marginal characteristics is that it awakens pure love for Krishna. 
वर्ष हंड्रेड सेवन नित्य सिद्ध कृष्ण प्रेमा साध्य कभू नया श्रवणादि शुद्ध चित्ते करिए उदय प्योर लव फॉर कृष्ण इज इटर्नली इस्टैब्लिश्ड इन द हार्ट्स ऑफ लिविंग एंटिटीज इट इज नॉट समथिंग टू बी गेन फ्रॉम एन अदर सोर्स द हार्ट इज प्योरिफाइड बाई हेरी एंड चैंटिंग दिस लव नेचुरली अवेकन्स वर्ष हंड्रेड एंड एट एट साधना भक्ति दुई त प्रकार एक वैधि भक्ति रागानुगा भक्ति आर There are two processes of practical devotional service. One is regulative devotional service, that is the Vedi Bhakti, and the other is spontaneous or the Raghunuga devotional service. Verse hundred and nine: Raga hina jana jana bhaje shastreera ajneya Vedi Bhakti bali tare sarva shastre gaye. Those who have not attained the platform of spontaneous attachment in devotional service. Render devotional service under the guidance of a bona fide spiritual master according to the regulative principles mentioned in the revealed scriptures. According to the revealed scriptures, this kind of devotional service is called Vedhi Bhakti. Purport: In the beginning, one has to hear from a bona fide spiritual master. This is favorable for advancing in devotional service. According to this process, one hears, chants, remembers, and engages in deity worship, acting under the directions. Of the spiritual master or the guru, these are the essential primary activities of devotional service. Devotional service must not be executed for some material purpose. One should not even have a desire to merge into the absolute truth. One has to render such service out of love only. Ahetuki, aprati hata. Devotional service must be without ulterior motives. When material conditions cannot check it. Then material conditions cannot check it. Gradually, one rises. One can rise to the platform of spontaneous loving service. A child is sent to school by the force, by force to receive an education. But when he gets a little taste for education at an advanced age, he automatically participates and becomes a learned scholar. One cannot force a person to become a scholar, but sometimes force is used in the beginning. A child is forced to go to school and read and write according to the instructions of his teachers. Such is the difference between Vedi Bhakti and spontaneous Bhakti. Dormant love for Krishna exists in everyone's heart, and it simply has to be awakened by the regulative process of devotional service. One has to learn to use a typewriter by following the regulative principles of the typing book. One has to place his fingers on the keys in such a way and practice. But when one becomes adept, he can type swiftly and correctly without even looking at the keys similarly one has to follow the rules and regulations of devotional service as they are set down by the spiritual master then one can come to the point of spontaneous loving service this love is already there within the heart of everyone nitya siddha krishna prema spontaneous service is not artificial one simply has to come to that platform by rendering devotional service according to the regulative principles Thus, one has to practice hearing and chanting and follow the other regulative principles by washing the temple, cleansing oneself, rising early in the morning, attending mangalarti, and so on. If one does not come to the platform of spontaneous service in the beginning, he must adopt regulative service according to the instructions of the spiritual master. This regulative service is called vedhi bhakti. Verse hundred and ten. Tasmat Bharat Sarvatma Bhagwan Hari Ishvara Shrivat. श्रोतव्य कीर्तिवश्चेता भरत ओ महाराज परीक्षित द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड इज सिचुएटेड इन एवरी वन हार्ट एज परमात्मा हुई इज द सुप्रीम कंट्रोलर एंड हू ऑलवेज रिमूव द मिजरीज ऑफ द लिविंग एंटिटीज मस्ट ऑलवेज बी हर्ड अबाउट फ्रॉम द रिलायबल सोर्स एंड ही मस्ट बी ग्लोरिफाइड एंड रिमेंबर्ड बाई वन हू विशेज टू बिकम फेयरलेस पर्पर दिस कोटेशन फ्रॉम Shrimad Bhagavatam 2.15. It is one's duty to understand the supreme personality of Godhead through hearing process. This is called Shrotavya. If one has heard properly about the supreme personality of Godhead, his duty is to glorify the Lord and preach His glories. This is called Kirti Tavya. When one hears about the Lord and glorifies Him, it is natural to think of Him. This is called Smritavya. Smrit and all this must be carried out if one actually wants to be immune from fear. Verse hundred and eleven. Mukha bahuru padevya purusha shamarahe saha chatvaro jajnire varna gunaira vipra dayaha prithak. The mouth of Brahma, the Brahminical order, has come into existence. 
Similarly, from his arms, the Kshatriyas have come, from his face, the Vaishyas have come, and from his legs, the Shudras have come. These four orders and their spiritual counterparts, Brahmacharya, Grista, Vanpas, and Sanyas, combine to make human society complete. Purport this verse and the next quotation from Shri Bhagavatam 11.5. Point two to three. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. We'll continue reading shortly.